everyone welcome back to the channel oh my goodness it is so hot today it's like 28 degrees but it just feels like it's like 34 so it's like sweltering i've just got the air conditioner on um i've just got a heap of um uh, groceries delivered i have spent over 300 dollars this week but you know how sometimes you just feel like you've got so much more um but i probably haven't it's just i've got it everywhere i've still got food in the fridge and the freezer which i have to bring out so I'm going to run through what I've got here and then I'll bring out the other things in the fridge and freezer because it's just like it is just so muggy even though I've just put the air conditioner on. So let's have a look at what I picked up for my family of four this week through Woolworths. Okay, I'll try and put the, the prices on the screen because I just can't remember them off by heart. So firstly, I've got some Viva 8 rolls. Um, I just like buying this in bulk. This was... Um, I think this was like nearly $10 or $9 something, but I love buying this in bulk and I do like this type of paper towel. It's thick, it's, you can wet it, it's just, it's great. So I do like that one. Um, a snack food this week, we have got some snack foods. Firstly, I've got the kids some of these oriental noodles. I just got the cup ones because they're on special. Then I figured it'd get more gram wise in the bowls because they're 85 grams and these ones are only 70. So I got two beef and two oriental. The snacks were on special, so I got a two boxes of them. Also the shapes, I think were $2 a box. So I got Vegemite and cheese. I got fully loaded Wicked Swiss Sweet Chili and also the savory. I don't mind the savory. These ones are just a little bit too hot for me. And I do like, you know, Vegemite ones, they're nice. I got these ones for me. These are the whole grain brown rice chips. If you're looking for something that's like not fatty, um, you know, you just want a bit of a snack. These are salty and they're nice as well. Like they just feel like, I don't know, they're, they're just a nice chip. They're Australian sea salt. They're the Sunrise brand, but I really love them. And you can really eat, eat a whole bag of them. They are pretty Moorish. And my kids absolutely love these Tropics Mango. So I find something my kids like, I will stick with it. Um, because I usually hate these things because they are quite difficult for the kids to open but they seem to have managed with it, my youngest anyway and my oldest boy said he absolutely loves them and I tried one and I thought sometimes, you know, sometimes they can be really hairy or stringy, the mangoes and they weren't, they were really, really nice so they were like close to $5 and chocolate milk, just the normal standby for our family I buy this every week, either chocolate or strawberry and the kids have that you know, they'll have three each anyway throughout the week. The other two, they'll either just take their water bottles, which they have water as well, or they'll have a popper or... Am I the only person that still call these boxes poppers? I don't know. I think it was just something that I did when I was a kid, but they're always called like juice boxes or milk boxes now. I'm not sure why I call them poppers. Maybe because they used to pop when you jumped on them. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, the laundry powder this week, I have just bought this one. Now, years ago, I used to buy this cheap brand one, the Woolworths or the Coles one, four kilos. I think it used to be like $3.70 when, when I had my first child. Four kilos, it's still really cheap. And I thought, well, look, I need to cut the cost down somewhere. This week, I'm just going to buy this one. It'll last me for ages. My oldest boy has got you no know, ties and trousers and things like that for school. So I will use probably a better brand liquid on his clothes or any of our good clothes in the house. But this is just going to work for our towels and all that sort of thing. So we'll see how we go with it anyway. If it doesn't clean, then I won't buy it again um, because there's no use. But I'm going to give it another go. I have got lots of fruit and veggies or well, sort of. They just look like I have. I ended up getting a bunch of spinach. This one's actually a really big, big bunch of silver beet. That was nearly $5, but I just feel like, you know, I want to get at least a bunch a week. I want to really start growing it. It's a really good green vegetable. I got some peanuts. They were quite dear. They were like $5 a bag. Um, and this I just took out of the bag. That's a pawpaw, and that was $5. I would never buy a pawpaw that size for $5. I'm not really happy with that. That's really expensive. Usually they give me, you know, a pretty decent size one. But um, see how we go with that. I got three avocados. You know, we just have them on toast every morning. I'll just have half an avocado or on crackers or I'll just make like a guacamole. So three probably won't last us very long. Mandarines, I finally got some. And that's were like $4.90 or something a kilo. But I've just really been missing mandarins and these look like they are beautiful mandarins. So I got um, five of them 
and kiwi fruit they weren't bad this week because they weren't a bad price so i just got four of them um you know i just love kiwi fruit but i don't get it that often because they're like a dollar fifty sometimes each they used to be cheap and i've also got tomatoes just three tomatoes i don't buy any more unless we're having heaps of tomatoes that week just a few that will last us and i've got some bananas to eat now and some bananas to eat later the green and the yellow ones um, they're the usual price they just haven't gone down in price they're pretty expensive and especially when you look at the size of them like i actually cut half up and put it in a container for my son for his lunch because he has it like these snacks about 9 30 in the morning it doesn't go brown or anything but you can do that just cut it in half if you've got two children i've got a like a proper fruit box thing that i put it in and it's fine so you don't have to waste it and even if you open a banana up or you cut half of it off you can put it in a bag in the fridge for later there's nothing wrong with it i do it all the time because they're just so expensive to waste if the kids aren't going to eat that um, I've, always, I've also got the pink lady apples, just a kilo of them because we're sort of running low on apples because my son has been taking them every day and I've been eating them too so they're just a great snack to have. And I did get a bag of mushrooms, I put them in the fridge so they wouldn't go funny. Yeah, I've just got some mushrooms there, I don't know, I just usually just like these really fried up with butter and pepper and salt, like nearly, nearly burnt. I don't like them when they're like slimy tasting, but yeah, just got mushrooms because I love them. My kids, no, they don't like them at all. When I was pregnant with my first child, I think, and my second, I think too, I think my second child, I ate so many mushrooms that I got to the point where I just I hated them. So I am pretty, pretty funny with mushrooms now. They just have to be cooked right, otherwise they make me feel a bit squeamish. So, but I really do like them. Okay, I've got some eggs, just the free range ones that I normally get. I think these are like $5.60. I've got fettuccine, just one packet this week of pasta. Vegemite, I've got the huge jar this week, 560 grams because we are out of Vegemite again. So um, yeah, I'm just more concerned we're gonna break the jar when you buy like the big jar, because it, you know, it's so easy to drop. So I need, do need to buy like a small jar. Well, I've got probably jars in the house and then just, um, just basically put it down to size and hide the big jar. Cause it's just like, this was nearly $10 expensive. But, you know, we, we love Vegemite. Um, peeled tomatoes, we had none in the house. All I had was a tiny little bit of like tomato paste. So I just needed more tomatoes. I just got the peeled Italian tomatoes. Four cans of that. And soups were on special. So I got creamy chicken, chunky creamy veg. I got um, a chunky stock pot, which is more like a stew. Butternut pumpkin, another chunky stock pot. And that's it basically. Just want to stock up on the soups when they're um, a decent price. I don't think we're ever going to get them like under $2 a can anymore. Uh, mild American mustard, my kids have been looking for that. And plus it's always nice to have some sort of mustard on a ham sandwich or something like that. So I got that. I got the big can of Lego's spaghetti sauce because I just found this a great standby. Um, I think it's about $5 a can, but it's so good. Grate some carrot, grate some zucchini in it make like a big sauce up and you can make a fair bit out of it it feeds a family of four my kids actually enjoy it so you know great to have in the pantry um chunky pasta sauce just got a bottle of that and i also got pickles i love the legos pickles um i find these smooth they don't have those big chunks in it and these are nice this is nice like with a swiss cheese sandwich on fresh bread but I just looked the other day and I thought, I don't even have like any pickles for the kids' ham sandwiches or anything. And I was putting like barbecue sauce and I thought that is just not really good. So I've got pickles. I, I find we just have so many like condiments in this house and the kids just go through so many, so much mayonnaise and, and sauces and oh, just Vegemite, peanut butter. Well, and peanut butter's not too bad. We don't eat a lot of peanut butter, but they go through stages. Um, I really like this greens gravy granules. Um, it tastes really nice and it's so easy to make. I think this was on special for $3.60 or something this week. So um, I really enjoy it and it's really nice with hot chips. So just got that one again. Um, I haven't been happy with past gravies and sometimes they just, I don't know, they don't taste like they used to. But this one is a nice one. And also I got some greens, delicious chocolate brownie mix my oldest boy will make this no doubt on the weekend hopefully he'll make it i don't have to um but no i don't mind doing it but 
Um, yeah, these are so these are great when they're on special, just to you know make up. You could freeze freeze the browning of the cakes or the muffins you're making, and put them in the freezer. I do need to make a heap of batches of them and freeze all this stuff now, just to make it a lot easier. But he likes making that. So I also got these continental um, uh, pasta sauces. I used to buy these years ago, and they used to have like the home brand ones. But I always remember how long they used to take to cook on the stove. Um, but I just thought I'd get them again because they're great as a side dish um, and the kids can have it with fish fingers or nuggets or something like that. So I just got them and see how they go. If they really like them, I'll buy them again. Uh, raw sugar. We're out of, out of sugar completely. So I just got the big three kilos of it. Um, uh, this is basically just for tea and coffee. I don't do anything else with it. I don't really drink sugar in my tea. I'll probably have maybe one teaspoon a day of it. Um, my husband has sugar in his, so this lasts us months and months and months. Uh, white vinegar for cleaning purposes. I need to fill up my spray bottles again and um, do all that because I haven't had any white vinegar in the house for a while, but it's always great to have as a standby. As soon as everyone started cleaning with white vinegar, it just went up in price. But I love it and it's great, a great natural way to clean. And guess what? I have substituted my bread again this week. So instead of the Woolworths toast, which I don't mind, I think the Woolworths toast is a really good bread. I have been buying it for months and months and months and probably the year now. But it's the only bread I've found that I'm happy with. It's under $3, doesn't go stale, it stays fresh for a while. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it, you know. But they have substituted it for, for the Wonder Toast. Um, with the vitamins and minerals and you know, it is an expensive loaf of bread this so I'm happy with it And I did go to Aldi last night and get a couple of things because my son needed brioche buns for school cooking um, I got a loaf of bread from Aldi. I had to get a couple of things but bread milk. It's just gone in this house Oh, so these were what I picked up from Aldi because they had a sale on them. So they were like under 20 under 30 dollars this week and up six, 67 dishwashing tablets like the 30 minute ones i got these from aldi last night um because i do buy sometimes the home brand dishwashing tablets i don't mind them but sometimes i find the machine needs a good tablet through it like a good clean out you know and sometimes sometimes the cheaper brands of dishwashing tablets i find because i've got a very hot machine like i've got a bosch it's an excellent dishwasher but sometimes the cheaper tablets don't get the muck off or don't get the food off the plates and the pans I found but I noticed with fairy or with finish it always comes off always but it's expensive and I don't get it all the time but when they have a sale on it at Aldi I will get it and I haven't used this 30 minute one before but you know I'm happy with it but I do find fairy a very strong tablet it's a very strong smelling tablet cleans on the first wash and that's what you want okay so i'm going to go now and pack all this away and then i'm going to go and get the things out of the fridge the things out of the freezer and then i'll give you the total of the shop but like i said i did spend over 300 dollars this week and i spent money at aldi last night so it was an expensive shop but i didn't film the aldi video because i only got like a couple of things it's just phenomenal because you think to yourself oh this will last us for two weeks but it won't like obviously the paper towel and the dishwashing detergent, cereal and that sort of thing will, but the vegetables won't and maybe a couple of snacks will, but you know, the bread will be gone, uh, the meats will probably be gone. Like it really, there isn't much left over for the second week. So, you know, maybe I see it as maybe getting a week and a half out of things, but then you still need to go back to the shops for bread and for fresh fruit because the kids need fresh fruit for school in the mornings. Um, and the primary school kids have to have it. High school kids don't as such. Like they get fruit in their lunch boxes anyway, but they have to have like a fruit break in the mornings, which is good for them. But they, these are the sort of things that they have to sort of things. Last week I didn't do too bad with my groceries, but this week we're getting, we're getting close to $400, but you can't do much about it. And um, you know, I am cutting costs as much as I can, you know. It's difficult, but we are spinning out the meals and all that. And this week I spent, a little bit of money on meat which I will show you like I bought roasts this week because last week I cooked sausage rolls home bread homemade sausage rolls I cooked um, chicken stew I cooked um, enchiladas I cooked I'm trying to think what else fish all sorts of things like that but they're just sick of stews and things now and mince and all that 
So I've bought roasters and the kids are complaining the breast is a little bit dry for them. So I might even think about buying some thigh next time. But um, yeah, I did spend money on meat. So I got roasts this week, which I will show you. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. It's nearly 20 to 1. The groceries came late today and I need to get all this away, pack it up and I'm going to start doing the next part before the kids get home because between one and three that time just flies I find. Let me put this away and I'll bring out the next ones. And I've also picked up the big box of Sultana brand. Um, they had a special on some of the cereal this week but this one was 700 grams. I was going to get the Nutri-Grain but it was a smaller box. And I've also got the Uncle Toby's rolled oats. Look I do get the home brand ones occasionally, well most of the time. Like they're only like dollar something a bag. But I do love the Uncle Toby's rolled oats. They're creamy, they are really nice. I just do prefer them, but I'm happy to buy the other ones. But this week they had a special on the $3 something a box. So they last me for ages, but I do have oats every morning. So once again, I have bought more cereal again. I think every week lately in the grocery haul, you're seeing me buying cereal, but the kids are liking it and they have it as snacks as well. Okay, so here are my three roasts that I've got this week. Um, I added up that it was nearly going to be $50, but let's have a look. This one was a corned beef and it was $17.88. I love this just as a slow cooker meal. My oldest boy doesn't like corned beef, which, is make, which makes it quite difficult. Um, so he's going to have to have something else because he really doesn't like it at all. But my youngest boy loves it and we all like it. But $17.88 for that. Um, and you can always have leftovers the next day. So I'm hoping to get at least two meals out of these. I don't think I'm gonna get two meals out of the chicken. I ordered like a bigger chicken than that, but they've just given me like the small one. This was only $8 for the chicken. Um, might have a little bit of breast left over for the next day to make like sandwiches with or something like that. But at least you get something out of it, you know? So if I get either, either sandwiches or a lunch or a salad or something, that's good enough. I've just got this beef eye round roast. This is marinated in onion, garlic, and red wine flavor. We've bought this often. It's really nice, but it is a strong flavor. Um, I find I can't eat too much of it because it is strong, but it was $24.64. So it is an expensive piece of meat, but that will last us two days for sure. So I'll get, you know, four, four nights out of the corned beef and the roast. The chicken, I'll probably just get one night out of and like some sandwiches, like I said, $50 here for meat. But, you know, roasts are pretty easy to make. You know, you put them on the slow cooker, chuck them in the oven. And now with school, I can't stand cooking after three or after two o'clock. I have to have the dinner done. It's just too hectic around here because my oldest boy doesn't get off the bus until like five past four in the afternoon. And in that time, I've already cooked my youngest boy snacks or given him snacks. And then he gets home and he wants snacks. And then I can't bring myself to doing the dinners and the homework and all that because my husband works later now at night so uh, these, these just work well for me I can put them on during the day while I'm here working and dinner's cooked you know like all my meals I'm trying to do but I can't stress myself out by trying to cook dinner at the end of the day at three o'clock um, this just works out a lot easier so they're the roasts that I picked up this week okay for freezer food I'm gonna stock up the freezer with some nuggets and things because my freezer is completely empty all it's got in it is some bread and ice packs basically, that's it. So I've got, actually I do have a bag of fish in there, hokey. I've got some chicken breast crumb tenders. I also got the Nuggets uh, original. And these ones are just the sweet chili chicken because my oldest boy finds that the home brand chicken tenders, like the chili ones, aren't very hot. Um, and he likes them a bit more spicier. So I thought I'll try these ones this time. So three bags of like chicken for the freezer for the kids. Um, prep set and go. I love these. They're just handy. Yes, it's lazy. Yes, it's not hard to cook up, cut up an onion, but sometimes these are just so good, especially when you don't have any onions. And there's no waste. Um, I've been buying these for over a year now and I just love them. So I got them. And I also got a bag of, of Australian baby peas because I'm not really fussed on the corn in the frozen, like I don't really like frozen corn as much. My, my husband loves it, but I really don't. I just like some like just a standard bag of peas. I'd prefer to probably buy them separate bags and not mixed. So that's my freezer things this week, but we just needed some like things like tenders and things for the kids as a backup. And the freezer really needs stocking up because you know, it's using electricity when there's, it's pretty much nearly empty. But once I put the four loaves of bread in there, 
um, that will help. Okay, I forgot to show you the toilet paper from before. So we've got the 24 rolls of toilet paper. I usually do buy this brand. It's not bad price and yeah, we're just running low on toilet paper. Uh, sometimes I do get that 12 pack, I think it is, but I think it's just better to always get the 24 when I run out. So we've got a standby. Uh, I've got the kids some daily juice, orange juice. We do still have oranges in the fridge, but just got this in the mornings. It's just easier. My son leaves um, like 7.30 in the morning on the bus. So um, we've got to get up early, do breakfast. Then my other son doesn't leave until like 25 past eight. So it's like different time slots for breakfasts. It's quite complicated in the morning around this house. But um, yeah, I just got the daily juice because I just find it easy when I'm making him like his avocado on toast and I just give him some daily juice because he usually has like some fresh oranges in his lunchbox anyway. Full cream milk, my usual, um, 15 litres of it. I know you're sick of me saying that, but just in case there's new people here, we are uh, milk drinkers and we do go through a fair bit of milk in this house. The kids will drink at least two litres of milk a day between coffees and teas and things with my myself and my husband um, and milk goes quite quickly but sometimes we don't go through that much either um, I have been getting 15 liters because I get the three liters now it's a lot cheaper not a lot cheaper but it does add up and most of the time I do freeze it so it's so handy to have a few in the freezer already frozen for when we do run out because they don't really like UHT milk but I do need to stock up on it because it is a really good standby. I don't mind the UHT milk. I don't mind the skim milk. Um, bacon, middle bacon. It's the weekend, so the kids all want bacon and eggs for breakfast. Um, I don't mind it occasionally, but we have had bacon and eggs a lot over the Easter period and um, holidays and things. So um, I probably won't have bacon this weekend, but the kids will like it. And we put it on the Weber and we cook it. I will downsize that and freeze it. And that will get us some more meals or some quiches or something like that out of it. But yeah, I don't mind this one. And yogurts for the kids. Um, I did try and do the, um, you know, downsizing the Yoplait yogurt into little containers, which is fine and, and it's a lot cheaper. But oh my goodness, the mess, the mess of those lunch bags when they come home from school and there's yogurt all the way through them. Um, you know, these aren't as bad, but my kids, my younger, my kids seem, still seem to bring their rubbish home in their lunch boxes. I'm not sure why they don't put it in the bin, but um, these aren't as bad for them. They don't seem to make as much mess. Well, I'm talking more about my youngest son anyway. I know they're a lot dearer, but you know, it is handy, but sometimes I do downsize them. I'll give it another try to see if I can get it so they're not making so much mess. Um, I thought I bought more of those probiotics. I did buy some yogurts for my oldest boy. These ones are a bigger size for him, 130 grams. These ones are only 70 grams. Um, I thought I bought more, but I mustn't have. Got three, I think I bought three for him for school next week and four for my youngest son. Okay, I got this, this cheese. I was buying the Hillview, which is a good price. Hillview is like under $10, we don't mind it. But cheese is so dear, it's like gold at the moment. So this was pretty expensive. This is a 500 grams. I don't think I've ever tried this before. This is the New Zealand cheese, so I'd say it'd be pretty good. I do love New Zealand products. Their cheeses and their things like that, they've got really lovely products. I'm looking forward to trying it. This is the Tasty Cheddar Natural Cheese, 500 grams. But it's a new thing we haven't tried, so um, I really do like cheeses that are too strong, but this one is a full-bodied flavor, but I'm gonna give it a go. And I knew I bought ice cream. I just thought that um, they didn't deliver it to me, but I found this in the bottom of my fridge. So I must have just like slipped down the side when I was packing the stuff in. So yeah, we ended up getting some Peter's original ice cream as well. I do like the blue ribbon one, but um, this week I just got the Peter's. I think it was on special. And I just got the Neapolitan for smoothies and just for um, desserts. So I'll give you the total. I'll, I'll put the total up on the screen because I haven't looked at my invoice yet and there was a few substitutions and things like that. Thanks everyone for watching today's grocery haul with Woolworths and I'll see you next week. Thanks everyone. Bye.